Why? Uh, because uh, I thought I was uh, I was not in a position to do that to investigate and find out where where that this funds because this funds already uh, I believe uh, were initiated. Like I said earlier on, we just said that the corporation is coming, but the funds really the way they came into the into the country, I was not aware and I was not a party to. So I didn't feel that I should even find out whether the funds are in or not. Did you not think as the members of the council um, that you have collective responsibility for the management of the country's resources? We have, I think we have, we have collective responsibility. So if you have collective responsibility, then it means you have personal responsibility as well for the way in which well, uh, public resources are being dispensed, don't you think so? Yeah, but the problem is the day-to-day -day management of the resources uh, was the responsibility of the office of the chairman supported by uh, by, by some of his technicians. Really, council's responsibility is just to meet and take major decisions that affect the country. But the way, the details of being that is, is delegated to other officials. Delegated to who? To other officials. Officials? Yeah. The difficulty we have is that there are no records in the normal way that we know public service records on this money, the way this money was spent. Mm -hmm. um, I'm saying that the challenge we have mm -hmm. that is that there are no normal accounting records for the manner in which this loan mm -hmm. was spent. Mm -hmm. So that brings us back to the responsibility of the council. Mm -hmm. You assume that the money was spent in the normal way. Mm -hmm. Is that what you're saying? Uh, whether it was spent in the normal way. Is that what you assume? No, I can't. I can't tell. You can't tell. Mm -hmm. Because I was not managing the funds at all. Because I was not directly involved in it, in the management. Mm -hmm. Whether it was managed properly, I cannot tell. Mm -hmm. All right. Um. Just for a minute. But you must have been very concerned <coughs> with corrupt practices. I will tell you why I say so, because mm -hmm. <laughs> the mantra that was accountability, transparency, fluidity. Mm -hmm. And I believe I remember a phrase you probably invented, bureaucracy. So you must have been concerned. <laughs> of course, you, you realize that when we took over, <laughs> when we took over the reins of power, the two years transition, I believe that uh, we were really doing what we said. That is accountability, transparency, and property. Yes. But after, yes. Finish, please. Finish. Finish. Yes, I, I believe we are doing that mm -hmm. on my own part. Even, even when Ibujaro was accused of absconding with three million U.S. dollars. Yeah, that's a personal, I think that's, that's personal to be done because like I said, this money when they came, really we were not directly involved. It was between the chairman of council, Ibu Jaro, and other people delegated to be responsible for this fund. So really we were not directly involved in this. But if, if Ibu Jaro had taken the tribunal, there may be processes of trying to make sure accountability and transparency is restored. Well, I can tell you that the evidence so far in this committee does not support your perception of correctness okay. of the AFDRC. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Mr. Pruitt, yes? 